and the graphs <coughs> of these guys all look alike. They may be flipped one way or another, but their shape is basically the same. So we know, and we found from the very beginning, the domain is all real numbers. Uh, no radical, no denominator, all real numbers. Now that means anytime I have anything with all real numbers, I would start at negative two, negative one, leave some room, zero, one, and two into a t-bar chart. And then this would be two, x is negative two. So this is negative two plus one, which is two to the negative one, and two to the negative one is one half. Two to the negative one plus one is two to the zero. Two to the zero is one. Two to the zero plus one is two to the one or two. So I just put in x, get out y, and do the calculation. 2 to the 1 plus 1 is 2 to the 2, which is 4. And 2 to the 2 plus 1 is 2 to the 3, which is 8. And then I graph what I've got. If x equals negative 2, y equals 1 half, 1 half. Let's see, here's the x-axis right here. I need to mark it for myself. And if x equals negative 1, y equals 1. If x equals 0, y equals 2. If x equals 1, y equals 4. If x equals 2, y equals 8. And if I just connect the dots, I start to get a shape. <coughs> Now here's the thing, as x gets bigger, I notice y is getting bigger. So this is going to keep going this way. Now the question is what happens on this side? Now here's the thing, no matter what I put in for x, no matter how negative x gets, y is going to be a positive number. So for example, suppose what I had was if x equals uh, negative 10 then essentially y <coughs> would be equal to 2 to the negative 10 plus 1, which is 2 to the negative 9. This is 1 over 2 to the 9th. That's a positive number. So it doesn't matter what <coughs> I put in for x. The more negative x is, y is still going to be positive. So if I would say x equal negative 100, then y would be equal to 2 to the negative 100 plus 1, which would be 2 to the negative 99, which was 1 over 2 to the 99. That's still positive. So you give me any negative number, I would add 1 to it, so it would be 1 less that I started out with, it would be negative, it would be 1 over that number, it becomes positive. So what this tells me is, as this comes down, it never crosses the x-axis. It's always positive. So it's going to come down and it's going to ride along the x-axis like that. And that's what he looks like. All exponentials look like that regardless of what they are. Now it could be flipped around the y-axis, could even be flipped upside down. But it will always have that shape. So all exponentials, that's what they look like. So it's going to ride along the y-axis. The x-axis, excuse me. <coughs> so suppose what I have is one-fourth to the x. Well, again, the domain's all real numbers. So negative 2, leave some space, negative 1, 0, 1 and 2, kind of use up the whole t-bar chart. Well, what would this be? I just follow. 1 fourth to the negative 2, 
which is 1 over 1 fourth squared, <laughs> which is 1 over 1 over 16. Invert and multiply, I get 16. Now, if you don't like that, easy thing to do is to take parenthesis, 1 divide 4 parenthesis, raise that to the negative 2 power. Hmm. <coughs> I'm just calculating out numbers. So 1 fourth to the negative 1 is 1 over 1 fourth, invert and multiply, you get 4 and one fourth to the zero power, well anything to the zero power except zero is one. One fourth to the one power is one fourth. One fourth to the two power is one over 16. So at negative two, I'm way up here someplace. I'm off my graph paper. At negative one, I've got four. At zero, I have one. At one, I have one fourth. At two, I'm one over 16. Now, if I connect the dots, he has the same shape as the other guy, but he's reverse directions. So that means he's gonna come down, he's gonna ride along the x-axis just like the other one did. And you're going to say, well, how do I know? Well, take one-fourth to any power, it's positive. Let me pause the number. One-fourth is positive, and when you raise it to a power, it's going to be positive. <laughs> it's just going to keep, keep getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So that's what the exponential function looks like as a graph. And like I said, notice, they are, they are, shaped similarly. Let's see if I can get them both on here. But one's just flipped around the y-axis, going the other direction. 